Alright guys, so this morning's little project do, 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 If I can grab that from you So, here in the uh, It's not just in this country It's To be honest, it's very very similar all across the Caribbean um, the, the fuel that we buy here is not the greatest fuel in the world We always make sure we buy the premium, not the regular um, It's slightly more expensive, but it has a little bit less water in it um, But a lot of fuel here comes with water in it um, it really does affect um, your dinghy motors. So we do put in some additives into the fuel mix uh, when we're, we're mixing our two-stroke up um, for the engine, but you still have to end up draining the carb, cleaning the carb, end up with a lot of problems. Everybody ends up with the same thing. But anyway, I've been doing uh, a little bit of work helping out a buddy of mine, actually, just, just keeping an eye on his boat and his bilge. Um, and he gave me a little favor. He gave me a little gift yesterday for helping him out. So this is basically an inline raycore with, um, with a water separator at the bottom. So this here, I'm planning on putting on the transom, so that'll bolt on there. And then what we can do is run all the fuel through this first, I'll be able to see if any water builds up, and this will clean out any contaminants from the fuel at the same time. So this, I think basically every dinghy should have this in the Caribbean. Uh, we haven't had one because we didn't have the parts, so Dan, thanks mate, I'll keep looking after your bilge for you. Also, I think our neighbors, they did look this up. I think it is available on Amazon it's as well. It's only about 20 bucks. It's only it? about 20 bucks and you get a couple filters with it. Um, so would highly recommend doing this if you are going to be in the Caribbean. We've had so many issues having to rebuild the carb, clean the carb, rebuild the... Yeah, it's just been a bit of a nightmare. So <laughs> I would highly recommend it. Hi, we are Erica and Davey, an adventurous, slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge that is a hurricane damage catamaran. We have come so far and are beyond happy to be floating once more. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. Take a chance. You never know how perfect something may turn out to be. Where are you going to put it? So I'm trying to work out the best spot. Might come fuel in there. Fueled out. Slightly longer one out there. That's about right. It's not in the way of anything. Oh, I didn't bring my drill, babe. Would you grab my power drill? I've got the drill bit, so I just didn't power bring drill. the drill. Does it have a battery on it? Yeah. We've done a little bit of organization here on Barefoot. Um, this little hole here it used to be all our cleaning products and stuff, but now we've made it into a tool area. Yeah, so I thought, so yesterday we had the bung out of this because I thought the bung was leaking. The dinghy's only been in the water a few minutes and already filling up. But then sitting in here now, I noticed it was wet on the side. Push on this side, the water's actually coming under this pontoon. So, we're going to have to take this dinghy out and try and repair it. We had the same problem on the dinghy before and the floor fell out, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't a good. So that's a fun story. When we were working in the Cayman Islands, we took our Honda generator, our Honda 2000 that we had there, um, and we let friends of ours borrow it on a charter on the boat that we were working on, on, on Allura. Um, so it was a great charter event. There was lots of leftover uh, bottles of wine and lots of stuff left on board. And we had our friend uh, Jeff. He was a big Kiwi guy. And our dinghy was probably about the same size as this one. So we had the generator, we had Jeff, we had lots of bottles of wine, we had... We were definitely overweighted, but our dinghy was already in a bit of a mess. Um, but halfway across Governor's Harbour, going back towards the boat, and we were taking on a lot of water. We were actually losing wine bottles out because the dinghy started like flapping open. Um, the pontoons had come off of the aluminium bottom, aluminum bottom. Um, we were sinking. Jeff decided to pull out a bottle of rum. He was doing shots because we were sinking. He tried to save the generator by holding it up super high bottle of rum in the other hand. Unfortunately that generator did get a bit of water damage on it so we did have to have it repaired and came in but our dinghy was kind of scrapped after that. So hopefully that won't happen to this one. What do you think babe? Did I tell the story adequately? I think you did. It was, it was pretty dramatic. Kind of a drunken sailor story. So I think Ward would do. <laughs> hey Foxos! What'd you do to your ear? What'd you do? Fuck. Shake. All right, so that's all bolted to the transom. It's out of the way of everything. So what I'm gonna do now is cut these hoses. I've got fuel in, fuel out. This is a bleed. And then you've got the water separator here on the bottom. So I've got to nip everything up. But this should be good. Under the 
the Irishman. That'd be good. That'd be good. Alright. <laughs> right, flathead screwdriver, please. Flathead screwdriver. This way. That'll do it. I think I spoke too soon. There's always something that goes wrong. Um, he's, not wrong. <laughs> he's now had to cut it so that he can get it off. So instead of how to put a fuel filter into your dinghy engine, um, how not to. <laughs> uh, no, it's all correct. I just want to put the pump ball forward of this so Why? I can pump it to prime the filter. Pump it to prime the filter. So we pump this, the fuel goes in, we've got a bleed screw here. This will fill up, there will be no air, we can lock that and then it will feed itself from there. But we need to have a pump ball so it can be primed. Well, crack on! Crack on, crack on my friend! Come on it. Has anyone missed us saying crack on? You don't say that often anyway. Sure direction, that way. Yeah, you want to make sure you put it on the right way now, yeah. like. <laughs> Let's just set the fuel back. Um, I've got a rag up the sun, a blue rag. Would you pass me that? It's slippery. Uh, I can't see how the sun in my eyes. can just be about there. So you just need a short piece according to me. This one to this one. Why don't you use the short piece that's already on the engine one? Take that one off because you're going to have to replace that anyway. So that's by the right length. Beauty and the brains. It's not right, babe. Oh, see. <laughs> you want you want to claim beauty and all the brains. Yeah, I'll let you have it. Yeah? Yeah. You're the brawn, babe. The muscle. I got you, babe. I'm I glad I got you here helping. I don't know how to do this without you. I know, see? You'd be lost without me. Lost. Completely lost. <laughs> Give a hell, guys. What do you reckon? Maybe Erica should do this. Should we swap? Oh, you're getting water in there already. See? I told you. <laughs> no. <laughs> what reaction do you want? <laughs> Sounds a bit tight. Good to put it in some hot water, I know guys. I well, used a lighter, but this is gasoline, so I decided not to heat it with that. Or we can just use that's it, tears. And brawn, wasn't it? Yeah, you're the brawn bit. Brawn. That's why you're on this job. Yeah. Wait, why are you cutting it? Because I'm not happy, it's not going on. I need to heat it up. Can you put the kettle on? Okay. Kettle time. Water's on the way, babe. Oh, are you gonna fix that too? No, I've worked out why. We've got a bad cable here. I can see the cable that's supposed to be in a housing. So what's so what problem have we been having? It doesn't want it. It doesn't want to go neutral, right? That's in reverse now. That should be neutral and forward. Oh, that's not gonna last long. We're gonna have issues there. So we've got a cable that needs replacing. Earth. Wouldn't even know where to find one of them around here. Definitely don't have a spare. I've got a box of spares for this engine, but we don't have any of the cables. Probably a very specialised one goes from here through and then to the gear linkage. The gears and the throttle are, are linked on it. I've just spotted that there. It does not look good. So, do you want, can, are your hands clean enough to hold this? Yeah, but it's not very easy to see. You see, I've been here. I'm not sure if you can see that, guys. But this is the uh, the housing of the the two cables, and uh, it's exposed wire. It's not very good. There's always something. There's always something. 
Yeah, so so now this morning we were gonna put this inline fuel filter and we've realized that the dinghy is leaking from the sides, so that needs to be repaired, and the cable is on the outs. One simple job leads to lots of issues. Boat life. <laughs> Boat life. Right, are you gonna be able to get it on? I need hot water. Okay. It's coming! I'm not complaining, I'm just saying I'm gonna need hot water. I need hot water for both these ends just to make them a so they're a bit more pliable, so I can get them on. Sounds like the kettle's nearly boiled. It doesn't have to be completely boiled, just hot. Hold the stone. <laughs> I thought you were going to spill it on yourself when you took it down. It looked like it was... No, no. Funny angle. Perfecto. Perfecto. All right, did we have success? I think so. I'm not fueling me either. Can you grab me a clean rag so I can wipe my face? Um, where would one of those live? I don't care, but it's, I've got fuel in my eye. It would be really nice to wipe it out. All right, so, Davey. All my kitchen towels have turned into rags. Because every time he needs a new rag, he grabs one that's by the kitchen. All right. Let's see if we can dry them. These both these fittings leak. Cancel, cancel. So again, this is why nothing ever is a five-minute job. All right, so what I've done here, so what I actually did before, these are slightly tapered threads, so I didn't think it actually needed any sealant. I thought they were self-sealing. Um, obviously, as you just saw when I assembled this here, we got some pressure in the system from the pump ball, and then, oh dear, that went a bit funny. Um, and it didn't seal. So I'm just using a bit of plumber's PTFE tape, just that'll then seal this off. When you clamp it down, it goes as a, it squishes down like a little sealant. So just get a few wraps of this around, oh, this. Always fiddly stuff. This. this this roll is a little bit on the on the wide side as well, and they're only little only little parts. Let's try and pull it, break it off. Also, guys, you want the tail end of the tape to be going against, going with the thread, not with the thread, against the thread. So when you screw it in, it doesn't unwind the tape; it clamps down on the tape. So that kind of twist it around a little bit. Huh? Did you say that the way right way around? Yeah. I think everyone knows what I mean. If you <laughs> screw it around, if the taper end is this way, when I screw it in, obviously the tape's just going to try and unravel itself. So I've got the taper end going this this direction, so when I screw it in, it's going with the thread. Yeah. If so that makes it, sense. So <laughs> Let's see if he did it the right way. How I did it the right way. How to? Did I put enough tape on? You don't want to put too much tape on because it doesn't want to screw together, but you don't want too little on. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. All right, guys, got the PTFE tape off on the blanking ends, got it off on the bolts here. Let's give it a squeeze. That's better, we're not getting fuel bubbling out anyway. All right, see if it's to start. Wait, on the key, on the button. Just testing. So the, just to hit. This is just the. Last time I was playing around with this, the carburetor, 
got it all put that back together and my idle was a little bit high so I noticed when we're coming into the dock or something we're going a little bit too high yep. a little bit too fast so I wanted to adjust that while we were here so I just played with that one just warmed it up checked everything's working and it all looked pretty good so success in one aspect of the dinghy how to <laughs> we got the inline fuel filter put in there so the water separator so hopefully we won't have any more issues with the dinghy in that regard um, but now we'll have to try and repair the Hypalon itself where it connects to the fiberglass and we'll have to look at maybe ordering or finding another one of those cables for forward and reverse. That's, that's nothing we can do. We can't do any of that at the moment. But anyway, I'm going for a scuba dive this morning. Actually, myself and Andy were, were teaching an open water course to a couple of buddies. Um, so we're going to go for a bit of fun. So when I'm, I'm going to take the camera with me when we go and teach these guys. Um, I'll film the bottom of the dinghy and see if we can't find somewhere where the, uh, where the join's coming apart. So at least I know what I'm looking at and how bad the dip damage will be. It's easier to do it underwater, I think, than it is to drag this up on a beach and flip it over. So well, we'll have to do that to Stand by. Then. Yeah, to fix it, we'll have to take it out. But at least I can go and diagnose it, how bad the situation is. Okay, let's go for a test drive, see if this thing still works. And just in case, I'm taking my paddle. Oh, I just oh, cleaned no. the thing. Ew, what was that? That was a bug. That was a bug living in the pole. It's going up that way. What was it? I don't know, some sort of earwig. Ew. Some sort of weird bug. Doesn't matter. He's now fish food. I just scrubbed the dinghy guys out. So. Sticks and gear. Here's your paddle. Not sure if you saw that, but Davy was lying on the front of the dinghy trying to get it up onto a plane. <laughs> we'll see what he says. How's it going? I mean, it works the same as it did yesterday, but. Why not? Let's just see if it goes. Oh, it went in neutral as well, that's slightly better. I haven't adjusted it, we just got lucky. Um, Still not getting up on plane like we used to, but that was. Da, 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 da. I think we sh didn't we show it that we uh, I'd stripped the carb down and rebuilt the carb and stuff. We didn't show it at night time because we did it at night. Stupid time. There's a little lesson to be learned here, guys. Don't strip down a carburetor while rafted to your buddy's boat. All right, uh, he's stripping his carburetor. You're stripping yours whilst drinking rum as it gets dark. And then in the morning you get towed. Well, you get towed home the same night with a non-working dinghy by someone on a little tiny sailing dinghy. And then in the morning you find all the bits and pieces, the jets and springs and screws from the carb are in the bottom of the dinghy. So in, since then I did rebuild it. I found all the parts, put it back together. But since then she's she doesn't quite get up on plane like she used to. It's a 9.9. It's a good little motor. Um, as I said, I, I fixed up what I believe was wrong with the carb. Um, I changed also the plugs. Um, so what's left to do, I didn't change the gasket between the carb and the body, the engine itself. So I do have a spare one on board, so I'm going to try that, but that's for another day. Anyway, success. We're back to the same as yesterday. There's more bugs. We're back, back to the same power that we had on the dinghy yesterday. And, uh, and the dinghy's clean. clean fuel. And now we know we're going to get clean fuel. I mean, to be honest, that might be some of the fuel that I've just been using there. It might be nicer, better fuel. It might start picking up better anyway. Anyway, we'll get back to that with you guys. Very snug in a boat. Snug in a, in a, snug in a bug in a rug. That's not right either. 